NASA's Voyager 1 space probe has delivered a surprising warning to Earth, capturing the fascination of science enthusiasts globally with its remarkable journey through space. Initially designed for a five-year mission, the resilient spacecraft has defied expectations, enduring for nearly five decades. Recently, Voyager 1 detected unknown objects passing through space, prompting a closer examination of these mysterious findings. Join us as we explore how Voyager 1 identified 300 unidentified objects during its interstellar voyage. While we marvel at Earth's natural wonders such as waterfalls, mountains, and ecosystems, it's crucial to recognize that our planet represents just a fraction of the vastness of space. Scientists have long pondered the mysteries beyond our solar system and the sun's watchful gaze. Voyager 1 emerged as a beacon of human curiosity, venturing beyond the capabilities of our most powerful telescopes to collect first-hand data about interstellar space and relay it back to Earth. After decades of a highly successful mission, Voyager 1 has left scientists astounded by its recent announcement. NASA's most trusted interstellar spacecraft revealed the detection of 300 unknown objects passing through space. Before unveiling the mystery behind these unidentified objects, let's delve into one of the most remarkable chapters in humanity's space exploration. In August 2012, Voyager 1 achieved an extraordinary milestone by reaching the outermost boundary of our solar system, known as the heliopause. However, this accomplishment posed significant challenges. As Voyager 1 ventured away from the sun, the diminishing sunlight, which powers its instruments, became a critical concern. The spacecraft relies on three radioisotope thermoelectric generators, converting plutonium-238 decay heat into electricity. The declining heat output from the RTGs led to reduced power, affecting various systems on board. To conserve energy, non-essential systems and instruments were deactivated or put in a dormant state. However, with continued power decline, essential systems may need further optimization or shutdown to extend Voyager 1's operational lifespan. Without intervention, the spacecraft's functionality will be severely limited, diminishing its utility. Complicating matters is the vast distance between Voyager 1 and Earth. As the spacecraft entered interstellar space, its signal strength weakened considerably, taking over 21 hours for signals to travel from Voyager 1 to Earth. Weak signals and background noise pose challenges to data transmission and reception. Additionally, the transition to interstellar space exposed Voyager 1 to extreme temperature variations, impacting materials, electronic components and systems. These temperature extremes, combined with the sparse distribution of dust particles in interstellar space, present ongoing challenges for Voyager 1. Despite its incredible accomplishments, the spacecraft faces a complex set of obstacles that require careful consideration and intervention to ensure its continued operation and the extraction of valuable scientific insights from its remarkable journey. Interstellar dust, though minuscule, poses a significant risk to the Voyager 1 spacecraft. When these particles collide with its exterior surfaces, they cause wear and tear on protective coatings, antenna surfaces, and other sensitive areas. Accumulation of dust on the instrument's optics or sensors can interfere with their functionality, degrading the quality of collected data. Moreover, NASA's Deep Space Network, responsible for communicating with missions like Voyager 1, must allocate limited resources to receive its signals, making communication opportunities less frequent. The continuous decrease in signal strength further complicates data retrieval and transmission of reliable commands. Before delving into the recent discovery of 300 unidentified objects, let's reflect on the remarkable achievements of the Voyager probes. These twin spacecraft, launched over four decades ago, revolutionized our understanding of the distant worlds in our solar system. Their early observations of Jupiter and Saturn's moons defied expectations, revealing dynamic, geologically active worlds. Voyager 2 particularly stands out for its historic encounters with Uranus and Neptune in 1986 and 1989, respectively, providing unprecedented insights into these icy giants. Over the years, NASA has taken measures to prolong their mission lifespan, deactivating non-essential components to conserve energy. Despite their estimated mission end date in 2030, the resilience and durability of the Voyager probes continue to inspire scientists and space enthusiasts alike. What truly distinguishes the Voyager probes is their meticulous design of stable platforms engineered to capture images and data with minimal blurring while hurtling through space. 
Even before reaching the outer planets, their imaging capabilities amazed scientists and the public alike. Early images transmitted from Jupiter showcased its mesmerizing features, including swirling clouds and the iconic Great Red Spot. However, the discovery of active volcanoes on Jupiter's moon Io captured global attention. Voyager's instruments revealed towering volcanic plumes and scarred surfaces, highlighting Io as the most volcanically active body in our solar system. These discoveries, made possible by the Voyager probes, have provided invaluable insights into our cosmic neighborhood and sparked the imagination of generations. While the Voyager spacecraft's cameras were eventually powered down to conserve power and memory before their journey into interstellar space, it's important to note that their photographic coverage excluded Mercury and Neptune for various reasons. Alongside the Voyager missions, NASA has operated other significant spacecraft such as Pioneer 10, Pioneer 11, and New Horizons. Voyager 1's encounter with Pioneer 10 on February 17, 1998, marked a milestone as Pioneer 10 became the most distant spacecraft at that time. Voyager 1 continued its solitary voyage for another 14 years before finally entering interstellar space on August 25, 2012. Despite the absence of other space probes nearby, NASA did not publicly announce this achievement until 2013, adding to the mystique surrounding the Voyager missions. One standout technique in the Voyager missions was the gravity assist maneuvers, vital in propelling Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 on their ambitious journey to explore the outer reaches of our solar system. To reach these distant destinations and gather crucial data, the spacecraft relied on more than just their own propulsion systems. They needed a gravitational boost, picturing the spacecraft engaging in a celestial dance with the solar system's heavyweight planets, utilizing their immense gravitational pull to slingshot themselves onward. This choreography can serve fuel and provide the velocity needed to visit multiple destinations, leaving a lasting legacy of exploration and discovery. Amidst the steady flow of data transmitted back to Earth, a recent discovery emerged that captivated researchers worldwide. Voyager 1 detected the presence of 300 unknown objects traversing interstellar space. This finding posed a profound challenge to our understanding of the universe. While Voyager 1 typically transmits data straightforwardly, the information in this instance arrived scrambled and unintelligible, raising numerous questions. Interestingly, despite the data anomaly, Voyager 1 continued to operate without triggering any fault protection systems, indicating it was not under attack. Scientists remain puzzled about the cause of the scrambled telemetry data. As Voyager 1 maintains its remarkable condition and communication link with Earth, the anomalies detected by Voyager 1 system sparked a thorough investigation by NASA's search team. They meticulously analyzed various potential factors, considering interference from cosmic phenomena like radiation or high-energy particles, as well as the possibility of entirely unknown phenomena in interstellar space. The team scrutinized Voyager 1 systems, considering the impact of cosmic radiation on electronic components and the stability of its sensitive instruments due to temperature fluctuations. Despite postulations that challenges during the transition to the heliosphere might have caused data scrambling, further analysis suggested otherwise. After weeks of analysis, scientists pinpointed the source of the issue to Voyager 1's attitude articulation and control system, specifically to a dormant onboard computer that unexpectedly began operating, corrupting transmitted data. Engineers swiftly devised a solution, instructing the OXS system to switch to the correct computer for data transmission. However, implementing this fix required patience due to the significant time delay in communicating with Voyager 1, as radio signals took nearly 21 hours to travel back and forth. Consulting manuals from the 1970s, engineers devised a low-risk solution, resetting the system responsible for data transmission. With careful implementation, they successfully restored Voyager 1's communication stream, showcasing the importance of leveraging past knowledge and present technology in overcoming challenges in space exploration. While concerns about underlying issues within the spacecraft's computer network linger, mission managers remain optimistic, emphasizing that the incident posed no significant threat to Voyager 1's long-term mission. Regarding the heliopause, it serves as a crucial boundary marking the outer fringes of our solar system where the solar wind meets the interstellar medium. Voyager 1's crossing of the heliopause presented remarkable phenomena, but no evidence of involvement by extraterrestrial beings emerged. 
Instead, the focus remains on understanding the complex dynamics of our solar system's boundary and the interactions between the solar wind and interstellar space. As Voyager 1 ventured beyond the direct influence of the Sun's emissions, it encountered notable changes in its surroundings. Firstly, there was a significant decrease in the temperature of the solar wind's charged particles, a condition that would render most spacecraft inoperable. Despite this challenge, Voyager 1 continued its journey undeterred. Additionally, the spacecraft experienced a change in the direction of the magnetic field, reflecting the altered influence of interstellar magnetic forces. Moreover, there was a marked increase in the presence of galactic cosmic rays, high-energy particles originating from distant cosmic sources, which became more prominent beyond the heliopause. Voyager 1's historic crossing of the heliopause provided humanity with its initial glimpse into the uncharted territories beyond the boundary marking the edge of the heliosphere. Subsequently, in November 2018, Voyager 2 followed suit, marking a new chapter in our understanding of the boundary between the Sun's sphere and the interstellar medium. Voyager 2's encounter with the heliopause allowed scientists to compare and contrast observations made by both spacecraft, deepening our comprehension of this celestial frontier. As Voyager 2 journeyed beyond the heliopause, it made intriguing discoveries, including a sharp decrease in the intensity of low-energy ions due to the sun's direct emissions and an increase in the intensity of cosmic rays originating from distant cosmic sources. Unlike Voyager 1, which experienced precursor events prior to exiting the heliosphere, Voyager 2 encountered a distinct boundary layer just beyond the heliopause, revealing the intricate dynamics occurring at the interface of our solar system and the interstellar medium. In the quest to understand the nature of the unidentified objects encountered by Voyager 1, scientists have explored various theories. One proposes that Voyager 1 might have encountered rogue planets or interstellar objects, challenging our existing understanding of planetary dynamics. Another fascinating idea suggests these objects could be remnants of ancient interstellar probes or spacecraft, sparking interest in the possibility of extraterrestrial involvement. However, proving such events presents significant challenges due to current technological limitations in exploring vast distances within interstellar space. The ongoing investigation into Voyager 1's encounter with unidentified objects continues to captivate the scientific community and space enthusiasts alike. As scientists delve deeper into this intriguing mystery, they hope to shed light on the true nature of these objects and uncover the underlying causes behind Voyager 1's peculiar experience, further advancing our understanding of space exploration. Thanks for watching another episode of You Know. While you're still here, click on the other videos you see on your screen right now.